Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on... 2007 Movie Landmine. Now, just like how Long Arm and Stockade were based on vehicles seen in the first movie, this guy is based on the Sector 7 buggies that were seen in the movie. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now right off the bat, I am missing the front bumper piece, but... Oh well. I mean, I still think that this looks cool without it. So let's have a look at the vehicle mode, even though it is missing this piece. It might mildly infuriate you, but I've, I've managed to deal with it. So, sorry. Here it says 52 and S7. Of course, that stands for Sector 7. Got some interior detailing. Pretty sure doesn't, I'm pretty sure that those are meant to be seats. On the side, we got a US flag. And that says Unit 626534. I'm not sure if that means anything. The back, which I am missing the back pieces as well. But, uh, this is why you check before you buy things, but oh well. It's too late now. I already have to figure. And I'm, I think in the future, I'll just buy the, the pieces separately. But I haven't found any listings for the front bumper bit yet. But who knows. But here we also have these little canister sections. Yeah, got the other section. Oh, the other side I meant, sorry. Uh, I cannot speak. Here we have the front. Check the 7, 52. Here we have an auto button insignia. Underneath, which of course we have some visible robot underneath. This is one of those ones where it, it just shows the, the robot chest and waist underneath. Although, at least with the robot head, instead of just having it like this, it's actually facing up. Although, I do have a complaint seeing how it's just on a ball joint, if I just apply some light pressure to it, he becomes a headmaster. Yeah, it's very easy to decapitate this guy, so that is a complaint I have with this figure. It's very easy to pop the ball joint on the head by accident, especially when transforming him, so that's definitely a complaint. What's not a complaint is, this guy's got some suspension. As you can see, we've got some springs here, which is cool. <laughs> yeah, not many figures have that, so that's really cool. And that all, uh, and well, if I can speak, that's pretty much all I have to say. Yeah, I'm not going to compare him with my other landmines because this guy is. Well, my other landmines consist of a folded up robot and uh, two construction vehicles. So, this guy's way different. Besides, do you ever... Do you ever landmines have varying levels of transformation? So, I'd be here for quite a while if I did a comparison. So, we're going to skip that and just get on with this, with this guy's transformation. And besides, this guy, the only thing this guy shares with the other landmines is the name and nothing else. So, yeah, let's just get on with the transformation. So, to start, let's um, um, uh, plug the doors or well. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be an automorph gimmick, but you can take the front wheels and untap them and just push them in. 
I'm pretty sure this is meant to be an, an, an uh, gimmick with the uh, the automorph, but I'm pretty sure it's something to do with the front bumper, but of course, seeing how I don't have it, it's a bit uh, nerfed, so I have to do it manually. Oh well. But take these bits and just open them up. And tab this entire section and rotate this entire section around like an old GoBot figure. Canisters, well, if you split this, then the canisters actually rotate to become his feet. And the wheels actually push in to become heels. And they, they do actually plug in, although this one is actually a bit hard to do. Although it is manageable. So you, you push the wheel in and you just push that in. So you, you push the wheel in and then, then you move it down. And you have to try and plug it in. So that's pretty much the feet done. That's the entire leg section transformed. Pull out the arms. Get the hands out. Rotate this. Open this. Pull up the fingers. Now you have an entire hand. Do the same here. This is how I like to do it, at least. Come in here, open this little flap. I move this down so it becomes a chest. And get the head down like so. And here we have Landmine in his robot mode. So yeah, oh yeah, and you can also take this and flip this around like so, there we go. But yeah, this is a pretty, um, <clears throat> if my throat will actually work for me, this is a pretty, um, well it's a standard looking robot mode, but I still think it's cool. I mean, if we have a 360, I, I mean, he has uh, the back wheels for heels, if you will. <laughs> so I guess he's on roller skates. The canisters pretty much form his feet. Well, if you're not careful, then it can actually make him a bit unstable. Uh, I look at the head. It looks like he's wearing some kind of mask. Not a face mask, mind you, but like some kind of sports mask. That's my final focus. There we go. And well, yeah, this is a pretty standard um, figure. Normally there's a gun that he has, but of course I don't have that either. <sighs> yeah, let's just get on with the articulation, eh? Heads, it can go side to sides if you're careful, because remember the ball joint is easy to to pop off you can look up uh, the arms can rotate you can sort of t-pose has got elbows hands can open and as you can see the uh, hands are on a ball joint so they can also move waist articulation which is cool I definitely appreciate that. Legs can go forward, can go back. Can do the splits. 
and it doesn't look like there's any like uh, Lego. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, Gad, my, my tongue's not whacking. It doesn't look like there's any uh, leg rot rotation, unfortunately. But he does have knees. And I guess if we want, uh, the foot can also move. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say about this guy. Yeah, uh, 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 sorry, I, I, I'm just too hot, so I have to end it right now. So, complaints, well, the head, obviously, the ball joint is really easy to, to pop off, as I keep saying, but it's especially annoying when transforming him back into his buggy mode. The arms are also a bit tricky to line up if you don't know what you're doing. But, uh, pretty much most of my complaints are transformation related. So, yeah. The head, the, the arms were going into debug, debugging mode, and the wheels can be a bit tricky to plug in. But other than that, do I recommend this guy? Well... I'd say, yeah, but make sure he actually does have the bumper sections, so he looks a bit more complete. The gun... Nah. I could care less about the gun, but the bumper sections, make sure you have those, because I'm pretty sure the automorph section actually relies on those, so... Yeah, make sure you actually have those. So, this has been my review on 2007 movie Landmine, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.